So fam, welcome to the final chapter of Mafia Definitive Edition. I just want to say thank you guys a lot, especially to the ones that caught up until the very end of this series. You guys encouraged me to do more of this. We are down to the final chapter of the game. In case that you missed any of the previous episodes, you can still catch up by checking out the playlist in the description down below. Thank you guys for all the support. As always, I love you. Let's go. The Death of Art Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. I had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? We just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. What I've been thinking. Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Probably you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Yo, what's this somber music that we're hearing? There's... what's this? Driver number? Thomas Angelo. After all this, hmm? let me just explore this. The port of, anyways, let's move, I guess. Let's just go. Uh, pretty neighborhood we're in. Yo, is this a new car? Yeah, I guess. Looks cool. Looks new. It drives kind of well, I guess. Oops. Yo. The uh, weather ain't nice. Hey, is this the color of the scar teal or something? It's like blue green or something. I think it's Heal. Move. Oops. Whoa. Hey. We made it. We're approaching 80s here on our speed limit. Can we go up a hundred? We're almost there, we're almost there. Hey, we reached it. Oh, sheesh. Oh, no. 
Oh man, imagine be imagine getting into that crash before getting your dough, brother. Dying in a crash. In a car crash. That's BB bros. The road is pretty wet. <laughs> I responded. Is Polly's apartment? Oh, here's this neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? How you doing? Christ only knows. Hey, Eddie, you heard a ruckus last night. Nah, I've been working. Collision in Little Italy. Available officers, please respond. A trucus. Did something happen, Polly? Polly! Oh, shush. Jesus. Polly. Polly. Sam, it's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll uh, see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. But Salieri made this? Oh, man. Could be the reason. Is this because he didn't know? Bali. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Come on, man. He was going to get his cut. Now we just need to meet with some here. To... I don't know. Disappear or something. Let's try to meet him in the city gallery. I don't know if this happened before the intermezzo where he met with the FBI guy or this happened before he comes clean with that bad guy. Are we almost there?
there. Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam. And I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. Come on, bro. This dude. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri? Really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you'd have lived a lot longer if you'd have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. After we saved him many times. Brother Sam here. Come on, bro. Over here. Come pick me. Pick me, brother. Oh wait, what? The heck happened there? The game lag, but Wait, what the heck are you doing, my dude? I missed my shot with you and Egypt. Oh, shish. Oh, dare you. Oh, wait, what? Come pick me again, brother. I'm getting feisty in here. Done, dude. Where'd you go, Sim? Business is business. I go to you. Out of all of them, know that. Business is business, I guess. No you mean? Where's the other guys? Hmm. <laughs> Bruh. With that far, with a shotgun, he's still making it. Oh, dare you. There's a first aid in here. So 
Sorry, Tom. You do the same. Fuck. You don't eat alone. It's one of the only rules we got. You it, gonna die, Cabby. He was going to have his cut through. You mean? I'm picking you, bro. Ooh. Let me get this shotgun in here. There. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed to get some ammo. You're dying. What's that dude? It's a down roski. It's this other guy in. Oh, jeez. I'm almost died there. I almost died there. Science stories. Get him. Oh, she's seen him. Boom. See how to get him. Oh, sheesh, that was a bait. I almost. Get this guy off me. Oh, wait, what? What the heck? It's still active. There's the first aid in here. Let me get that. This has been pretty scary mission. I'm pretty disappointing one. So you're really going to betray me, Sam? And get some mammals in here. Where is he? There is that other guy. Come beat me, bro. You idiot. Where is the wall? I'm a pass. You still had respect for the dog. You swallowed us down. Fuck you, Sam! I know you do the same, Tom! Hell! I know you've done the same! You're there. I guess this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one now. This is getting serious, boys! Take him out! Oh, 
Barely. Over here. Running out of guys yet. Come on, brother. Oh, sheesh. You got me. Oh, what the heck? Salieri was ripping us off. Ripping you off, mate. That's a grenade. Oh, sheesh. Still alive? Someone's here. Hmm. Sit down. You are an insult to the family. Coming after me. Oh, shush. Oh, he got me. He got me, bro. He's MF. Let's restart. I was looking at the map there. Over here. Running out of guys yet. <clears throat> There are raining bullets in here. Salieri was ripping us off. Boom. Oh, sheesh. That was the base. Oh, no. Oh, what? That got me. Someone is straight in front of me. Down, bro. You are an insult to the I'm reloading. Cover. Say good night. Oh, shish. Down, brother. Are you away? What? Still alive? Oh, let's find some. There you. A lucky shot, Tom. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. So headshot right away. Boom. Now what's up, bro? Grabbing cover. Boom. Ooh. Thanks, brother. Where is he? Tired of this life, Tom. I know that. I've seen it grow in you for years. But now, there's only one way out. And I'm the guy that gets to give it to you. Oh, Sam. However far you run, Salieri will find you. This isn't a 
life you could just finish with. You're in. Down, bro. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right. What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? You can't do it, can you? you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, or Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> Sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. <laughs> I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. With this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. I'm keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. 
Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Epilogue, 1951. A long time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone. Trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Oh, what? Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. I guess that's it yep so guys thank you for all the support I love you let's keep supporting me on the future series and let's see what's going to be the next one thank you I love you bye If you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I don't think I'm ready, no, not for that jelly, my honey, like we need a proof.